Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. Today, we're flying over Mossy Rock, Washington. That's right. My wife Jenny always wanted a cabin in the mountains, so that's what she got. In Washington, this small piece of property with all the trees is her little oasis. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. She's got that little trailer tucked in the woods, and now she has a new project. And when California dries up, well, we'll have a place to go get some water. Because as you can see, there's plenty of water in Washington State. And it rained on the day we left. So we got lucky to have dry weather for a week or five days but you can see the greenery here and that doesn't stay that green because of lack of water it gets plenty of water here and with the uh, times of change in and some people believe in that the earth and global warming or climate change or whatever term you want to use we know that the rain is stopping in California it used to be rainy seasons, but now if you want a rainy season, well, this is where you got to go, up north. So that's where we found ourselves, in this secluded spot. It's kind of a secret, and we'd like to keep it that way, but as you can tell, there's people here. We're not the only ones. But the best spot about this place is her sister lives right next door. Not at the house at the bottom, but the house right to the left with the big truck in it. And that's where her sister lives, so two sisters can grow old together up in the mountains, the way it should be. I uh, really did appreciate the beauty there. And I know that coming from California, well, usually these trees turn brown, but not up here. So it was a welcome sight to have no bark beetles tearing up the trees. For my taste, it was just right. But the neighbors are just a wee too close. If you want a cabin in the woods, you shouldn't be able to see your neighbors. But... That's what we got here, is a neighbor working next to us, which is a super friendly neighbor, super friendly dog. But as you can tell, he is right there in the work shed. That's the thing about these little cabins, is the work is never done. You will know that if you own a home, that the work around your home is never done. But this home, Luckily for me, it's 13 hours away. So not a lot of work by me will be done here. But I look forward to the day that I can do some work here or do some fishing or do some kayaking or whatever you do when you live on a lake. I'm not a big fisherman because sitting still and me don't go together. Kind of like oil and water. But I can handle it for a little bit. But this is the lake, Mossy Rock, and Silver Lake, I believe. Combined together make one beautiful area. Got a little farmland with some cows, a little timberland with some trees. And little waterland for some water sports and plenty of fish to eat so when the apocalypse goes down we have a place to I like to say go catch squirrel maybe rabbit maybe deer maybe fish or maybe it'll never happen and I'll have to be content with the grocery store 
But anyway, as always, you know the drill. I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these little adventures to the great state of Washington State, named after our first president. All right, well, you know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Thanks for coming along. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.